We thank all the reporters, journalists, photographers, camera persons, individuals, groups, companies everywhere in the world for all your contributions of news that bring hope to humans and animals, thus uplifting the atmosphere of our planet. May heaven bless your noble endeavors and protect you always, especially while on duty. Fortunate and blessed are we to be co-inhabitants with the amazing animals that graze and color our planet. In countless beneficial ways, they add beauty and joy to our lives. Their nobility through unconditional love, loyalty, and heroic life-saving actions is a constant source of wonder and inspiration. What would our world be like without our fun and intelligent animal friends? We simply could not imagine it. Thanks be to the providence for all the cherished animals. May we always honor their God-given precious lives as we honor a part of ourselves. Para pemirsa yang budiman means hello righteous viewers in Indonesia. I'm Ratnawati in Pretty Rantau Prapat on the island of Sumatra. Your peace protecting effort in your country is also contributing to world peace. Fragrant Indonesia thanks you too. Hello there. I'm Jeremy from Multicultural London in Royal United Kingdom. Heaven loves those who love and help other beings. And Heaven loves you for your selfless aid to those in need. We also thank you. Welcome to Noteworthy News, benefiting news for a happier world. Benefiting news for a progressive world. Supreme Master Television brings you good news from around our beautiful planet 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Our programs can be viewed online at suprememastertv.com. In today's news, United Arab Emirates and China agree to develop partnership. Displaced Syrians return home. Japan provides funds to build schools in Haiti. Tourism grows in Zimbabwe. And Facility for Veterans Without Homes in Baltimore, Maryland, USA gets its own barbershop. All this and more on Supreme Master Television, your constructive global TV channel. United Arab Emirates and China increase partnership. Following his official visit to the United Arab Emirates, President of China, His Excellency Xi Jinping stated that the two nations have agreed to increase their collaboration in several fields such as energy, technology, and infrastructure. President Xi said, Our bonds of cooperation are growing stronger. China and the UAE have become bosom friends who help and complement each other, and important partners who always communicate and coordinate with each other on regional and international affairs. Our warmest good wishes and gratitude the United Arab Emirates and China for joining your strengths. May the common good of your thoughtful citizens be multiplied by your mutually beneficial dedication. Over 750,000 displaced Syrians return home. According to the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, or UNHCR, over 750,000 internally displaced persons in Syria, as well as approximately 13,000 Syrian refugees residing in neighboring countries, have been able to return to their homes during the first six months of 2018. The amount of displaced citizens returning so far in 2018 almost equals the total number of displaced people that returned to their homes in Syria during all of 2017. Our hearts sing a chorus of joy upon hearing such encouraging news. May peaceful progress and steady improvements become the new constant among the harmony-loving people of Syria. Up next, new research encourages the adoption of a plant-based diet. 
we'll take a moment to thank the metal fabricators for making the necessary parts for our machines and structures. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. We're looking forward to sharing more alleviating news with you. All information concerning the scientific evidence of climate change and its solution is in Supreme Master Ching Hai's book, From Crisis to Peace. Supreme Master Ching Hai presents the major factors associated with global warming and more importantly, its root cause, the livestock industry. The smartest way would be to stop the worsening of global warming by being vegan. It sounds very simple, but it is the best solution, the most effective, and the effect of it will be felt almost immediately. A must-have for you and your friends from Crisis to Peace book. Free to download at crisis2peace.org. And this is my lovely mum, Comfy. Cuddly and I are vegans because it's cool. We have a tip to help you stop a bad eating habit. It's quite easy. Just keep healthy snacks like fresh fruits, vegetables and nuts with you at all times. Keep them at your work as well as your home. And make sure you have them with you when you travel. Thank you for your attention. And love you for being veg and going green to save the planet. Thus, save the world. Now the World Wide Weather.
Research shows global transition to plant-based diet can provide food for all. A new study states that if people shift to a mostly vegan diet, current food production can adequately feed the projected 9.7 billion people in 2050. Otherwise, current levels of meat consumption require a 119% increase in edible food production. Moreover, the world's livestock system is using 45% of the planet's arable land, which is land that could be used for growing food crops. The report was published by Lancaster University Environment Center and Associate Sustainability Consultancy Company Small World Consulting, both of the United Kingdom. The research also emphasized that a change in attitude concerning which crops are considered suitable for human consumption was necessary. For example, maize could be used to feed more humans. We are deeply thankful for you shining the light on what is needed for a viable future. Lancaster University Environment Center and Small World Consulting Researchers. Let's continue sharing the vegan solution to safeguard all beings on our blessed earth. Japan donates 20 million US dollars to build schools in Haiti. The funds will be used to construct 12 primary schools to be ready by September for the coming school year. These plans are aligned with the current Haitian government goal to expand education access and create 15,000 new classrooms by 2022. The new schools are being built to be able to withstand cyclones and comply with seismic regulations. You exemplify generosity, Government of Japan. May the new schools provide many bright Haitian children the opportunity for a first-class education in heaven's grace. Tourism grows in Zimbabwe. There was an almost 50% increase in the number of tourists who came to see the spectacular Victoria Falls in Zimbabwe in the first quarter of this year compared to the same time period in 2017. Other incredible places to visit in Zimbabwe include Wangi National Park, the country's largest natural reserve, the Eastern Highlands mountain range, and Lake Kariba, the Earth's largest man-made lake and reservoir by volume. Situated along the border between Zambia and Zimbabwe, Speaking of her experience visiting Zimbabwe, Canadian tourist Kathleen Pretzlaff said, I feel very safe. The people are welcoming. Getting the visa was really easy. Good luck, Zimbabwe. May more people get to know your scenic country. Coming up, Brazil Parliament takes steps to prohibit cosmetic animal testing. We'll spend time to thank the countless soil microorganisms which provide the world's flora with essential nutrients. Supreme Master Television will return in just a moment with more exceptional news. How to Veg for Starters 1. Veg before you shop 2. Go straight to veg section. 3. Get veg recipes. 4. Make new veg friends. 5. Get info about veg benefits. 6. Spread the veg trend. 7. Feel like a saint. Supreme Master Ching Hai. Welcome back to Noteworthy News, distinguished news for a brilliant world. Brazil takes significant step to ban cosmetic testing on animals. Members of the Legislative Assembly of the State of Minas Gerais in Brazil have successfully confirmed a bill authored by State Deputy the Honorable Noraldino Junior 
to ban cosmetics testing on animals. Minas Gerais is the seventh state to join the Be Cruelty Free Brazil campaign, with the states of Sao Paulo, Mato Grosso do Sol, Paraná, Amazonas, Pará, and Rio de Janeiro having already adopted the animal protection legislation. The historic initiative is supported by a collaboration of animal rights groups, including Humane Society International, the Minero Movement for Animal Rights, and the National Forum for the Protection and Defense of Animals. We feel so touched and grateful for your noble efforts on behalf of our innocent animal friends, the Honorable Noraldino Junior, Minas Gerais Legislative Assembly members, and the animal welfare groups at Be Cruelty Free Brazil. May all governments and citizens take courageous action to protect our well-wishing and sweet co-inhabitants. Center for Homeless Veterans in Maryland, USA gets its own barbershop. Maryland Center for Veterans Education and Training, or MCVET, in the city of Baltimore now has its own barbershop and beauty salon offering free haircuts and grooming services. The facility also serves to train aspiring barbers in the profession. It was brought to the veterans by American nonprofit Rob's Barbershop Community Foundation, which was founded by former barbershop owner Robert Cradle, who wanted to help those who could not afford or did not have access to haircutting services. Sereta Spencer, Director of Development and Community Engagement at MC Vet, spoke of the positive effects of the MC Vet Barbershop, saying, It makes veterans smile. If you look good, you feel good, and you perform better. Such a loving and thoughtful way to serve beautiful veterans. God bless your noble endeavor, Robert Cradle, and the Maryland Center for Veterans Education and Training. May your program help many individuals greet bright days full of hope and accomplishment. Time now to enjoy the joke of the day, entitled, Faulty Refrigerator Advice. A man calls a refrigerator repair service. My refrigerator isn't working. What kind is it? It's a small one. Electric gas or propane? Propane. Ah, then the problem is most likely a vapor lock. You don't need a service call. Just turn the refrigerator upside down for a few minutes to allow the lock to clear. Then put it back and all should be well. Second call a few minutes later. The least he could have done is to tell me to empty the fridge first. <laughs> and now we have a heartline from Manoj Kumar in Indonesia. Dear Supreme Master, My name is Manoj Kumar living in Bali, Indonesia. I love your food at Laughing Hut and I'm vegetarian by birth. I would like to receive a franchise for a Laughing Hut in Ubud, Bali. Please let me know the procedure. Regards, Manoj Kumar, Bali, Indonesia. Dearest Manoj Kumar, Another Loving Hut vegan restaurant in our world? How wonderful! The more loving huts, the better for humanity, the animals, and the environment. Please contact the Loving Hut headquarters at info at lovinghut.com to find out more information. Or you can just open a vegan restaurant yourself. If you are not a Kuan Yin practitioner, though not with the name Loving Hut, as they are managed only by our members. Vegan restaurants are always beneficial to the world, no matter who operates them. Loving Hut is not a so-called franchise chain of vegan restaurants. It's just because the name Loving Hut was designed by a master that the disciples would like to keep it within our association circle. Moreover, there are certain rules to adhere to. For example, the food has to be strictly vegan and as organic as possible. Also, harmful substances such as alcohol are prohibited to serve in Loving Hut. Thank you. Wishing you all the best and may heaven bless Indonesia. Supreme Master TV staff. We welcome your heartlines and stories. Please send them to 
heartline at suprememastertv.com. We sure have enjoyed spending time with you on Noteworthy News. May your heart rejoice in the glory of God. Wishing you a grace-filled week. We thank all the reporters, journalists, photographers, camera persons, individuals, groups, companies everywhere in the world for all your contributions of news that bring hope to humans and animals, thus uplifting the atmosphere of our planet. May heaven bless your noble endeavors and protect you always, especially while on duty. details, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash NWN. Peace News from Around the World, January 2018. Koreas agree to form a joint women's ice hockey team and parade together during the opening ceremony of the Winter Olympics. Iran reopens two border crossings with the Kurdish region of Iraq. Venezuela's government and an opposition party sign an agreement that promotes peaceful coexistence. February 2018. Croatia and Serbia pledge to improve ties and resolve border issues. Two ethnic groups in Myanmar, the New Mon State Party and the Lahu Democratic Union, sign a ceasefire agreement with the government. More than 300 child soldiers released in South Sudan, including 87 girls. Sudan announces the reopening of a border crossing with South Sudan to resume trade between the two countries. Ethiopia releases nearly 6,000 detainees since January 2018. Qatar and Chad restore diplomatic relations. March 2018, Sudan frees 177 foreigners held by a human trafficking group. Poland apologizes and asks for forgiveness from the Jews driven out of the country 50 years ago. Sri Lanka and Pakistan agree to cooperate and work together for regional peace and stability. Sudan's government and rebels extend the ceasefire for an additional three months in hopes to encourage peaceful changes. Australia and East Timor sign a historic treaty to resolve maritime border dispute in the Timor Sea. April 2018. Basque Group ETA asks for forgiveness and says sorry to the people they hurt during the decades-long conflict with Spain. Cuba confirms its commitment to nuclear disarmament and upholding international peace and security. Korean leaders sign the Panmunjom Declaration for Peace, Prosperity, and Unification of the Korean Peninsula. The Mizoram government in India and the Hamar People's Convention, Democratic, sign a peace agreement ending decades of conflict. China pledges to continue respecting and protecting religious freedom as a state policy. Myanmar's president pardons more than 8,500 inmates as part of the country's annual amnesty tradition. Bolivia's president signs an agreement with the United Nations preventing the use of nuclear arms. Spain and Venezuela agree to restore diplomatic ties, beginning with reinstating their respective ambassadors. Venezuela and Panama agree to re-establish diplomatic relations and restore air links between the two countries. May 2018, Kosovo approves border agreement with Montenegro, taking its nationals one step closer to gaining visa-free access to Europe's free travel Schengen Zone. Russia, Turkey and Iran endorse the creation of four demilitarized zones in Syria as a peaceful solution to the country's crisis. Nations bordering the Arctic Ocean, United States, Canada, Russia, Denmark, and Norway, solidified their commitment to amicably settle any disputes regarding the resource-rich area affected by climate change. Religious leaders unite with indigenous peoples from around the world, activating the Interfaith Rainforest Initiative to encourage billions of people of many faiths to safeguard rainforests and their guardians. 
As a sign of goodwill, Korea releases three American detainees from a detention facility. Pakistan reopens the Ghulam Khan Pass, a key trade route with Afghanistan, ending four years of closure. China and Indonesia promise to work towards promoting peace and stability in the South China Sea region. Nicaragua initiates a national dialogue for peace to restore stability and harmony in the nation. Interfaith leaders from Religions for Peace International and Myanmar pledge support for peace in the nation. Libyan rival factions agree to hold presidential and parliamentary elections in December 2018 in an effort to bring stability to the country. We'll continue tomorrow. For more details, please visit suprememastertv.com. For those who believe and do righteous deeds, for them is happiness and a beautiful return. Please watch on to find out more. Today's program will be presented in Arabic with subtitles in Arabic, Olasis, also known as Vietnamese, Chinese, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Korean, Mongolian, Persian, Portuguese, Punjabi, Spanish, and Thai. تحياتي أصدقائنا محبي السلام أنا الدكتورة رند النجم من سوريا شعبنا يتمنى لكم حبا جما وبركات من أرفع العوالم حلقة اليوم بعنوان اختيار من القرآن الكريم الفصل الثالث عشر والسابع والخمسين الجزء واحد من اثنين نقدم لكم حكمة الإسلام ولد النبي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم في العام 570 ميلادي في مكة فيما يعرف الآن بالمملكة العربية السعودية في سن الأربعين تقريبا اعتزل في غار في جبل ودخل في تأمل عميق خلال هذه الفترة من التأمل الباطني تلقى الرسائل الأولى من الله عبر الملاك جبرائيل كل ما ذكره الوحي الإلهي والذي امتد على مدى 23 عاما يمكن العثور عليه في أكثر كتب الإسلام قداسة ألا وهو القرآن الكريم كان النبي الكريم محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم معلما محبوبا وخير قدوة للناس تعاليمه النبيلة تعيش في قلوب الناس إلى يومنا هذا ملهمة إياهم لسلوك طريق السلام لإيجاد الله تعالى اليوم نشارككم التعاليم الحكيمة للنبي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم مع مقتطفات من الفصل الثالث عشر والسابع والخمسين من القرآن الكريم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألف لام را تلك آيات الكتاب والذي أنزل إليك من ربك الحق ولكن أكثر الناس لا يؤمنون الله الذي رفع السماوات بغير عمد ترونها ثم استوى على العرش وسخر الشمس والقمر كل يجري لأجل مسمى يدبر الأمر يفصل الآيات لعلكم بلقاء ربكم توقنون وهو الذي مد الأرض وجعل فيها رواسي وأنهارا ومن كل الثمرات جعل فيها زوجين اثنين يغش الليل النهار إن في ذلك لآيات لقوم يتفكرون وفي الأرض قطع متجاورات وجنات من أعناب وزرع ونخيل صنوان وغير صنوان يسقى بماء واحد ونفضل بعضها على بعض في الأكل إن في ذلك لآيات لقوم يعقلون وإن تعجب فعجب قولهم 
أَإِذَا كُنَّا تُرَابًا أَإِنَّا لَفِي خَلْقٍ جَدِيدٍ أُولَئِكَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا بِرَبِّهِمْ وَيَسْتَعْجِلُونَكَ بِالسَّيِّئَةِ قَبْلَ الْحَسَنَةِ وَقَدْ خَلَتْ مِنْ قَبْلِهِمِ الْمُثُلَاتِ وَإِنَّ رَبَّكَ لَذُو مَغْفِرَةٍ لِلنَّاسِ عَلَى ظُلْمِهِمْ وَإِنَّ رَبَّكَ لَشَدِيدُ الْعِقَابِ ويقول الذين كفروا لولا أنزل عليه آية من ربه إنما أنت منذر ولكل قوم هاد الله يعلم ما تحمل كل أنثى وما تغيض الأرحام وما تزداد وكل شيء عنده بمقدار عالم الغيب والشهادة الكبير المتعال سواء منكم من أسر القول ومن جهر به ومن هو مستخف بالليل وسارب بالنهار له معقبات من بين يديه ومن خلفه يحفظونه من أمر الله إن الله لا يغير ما بقوم حتى يغير ما بأنفسهم وإذا أراد الله بقوم سوءا فلا مرد له وما لهم من دونه من وال هو الذي يريكم البرق خوفا وطمعا وينشئ السحاب الثقال ويسبح الرعد بحمده والملائكة من خيفته وهم يجادلون في الله وهو شديد المحال له دعوة الحق والذين يدعون من دونه لا يستجيبون لهم بشيء إلا كباسط كفيه إلى الماء ليبلغ فاه وما هو ببالغه وما دعاء الكافرين إلا في ضلال ولله يسجد من في السماوات والأرض طوعا وكرها وظلالهم بالغدو والآصال قل من رب السماوات والأرض قل الله قل أفتخذتم من دونه أولياء لا يملكون لأنفسهم نفعا ولا ضرا قل هل يستوي الأعمى والبصير أم هل تستوي الظلمات والنور أم جعلوا لله شركاء خلقوا كخلقه فتشابه الخلق عليهم قل الله خالق كل شيء وهو الواحد القهار أنزل من السماء ماء فسالت أودية بقدرها فاحتمل السيل زبدا رابيا ومما يوقدون عليه في النار ابتغاء حلية أو متاع زبد مثله كذلك يضرب الله الحق والباطل فأما الزبد فيذهب جفاء وأما ما ينفع الناس فيمكث في الأرض كذلك يضرب الله الأمثال للذين استجابوا لربهم الحسنى والذين لم يستجيبوا له لو أن لهم ما في الأرض جميعا ومثله معه لافتدوا به أفمن يعلم إنما أنزل إليك من ربك الحق كمن هو أعمى إنما يتذكر أولو الألباب الذين يوفون بعهد الله ولا ينقضون الميثاق والذين يصلون ما أمر الله به أن يوصل ويخشون ربهم ويخافون سوء الحساب والذين صبروا ابتغاء وجه ربهم وأقاموا الصلاة وأنفقوا مما رزقناهم سرا وعلانية ويدرؤون بالحسنة السيئة أولئك لهم عقب الدار جنات عدن يدخلونها ومن صلح من آبائهم وأزواجهم وذرياتهم والملائكة يدخلون عليهم من كل باب سلام عليكم بما صبرتم فنعم عقب الدار والذين ينقضون عهد الله من بعد ميثاقه ويقطعون ما أمر الله به أن يوصل ويفسدون في الأرض 
مشاهدينا الأحبة شكرا لكم لرفقتكم اليوم على برنامج كلمات من الحكمة يرجى الانضمام إلينا مجددا غدا لمتابعة الجزء الثاني من برنامجنا اختيار من القرآن الكريم الفصل الثالث عشر والسابع والخمسين التالي هو استكشاف ما بعد الحياة مع الدكتورة ديان كوركوران الجزء واحد من اثنين عسى أن تملأكم وأحباءكم بركات السماء بالسعادة والحب والانسجام Loving viewers Thank you for your company today on Words of Wisdom Please join us again tomorrow for part two of our program Selection from the Holy Quran Chapter 13 and 57 Coming up next is Exploring the Afterlife with Dr. Dian Corcoran, part one of two. May heaven's blessings fill you and your loved ones with happiness, love, and harmony. For more details, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash w-o-w. It just run through very fast because it run through fast so it don't sink in. And inside there's so many pockets. This is a very see-through pocket. Whatever you put in there, you find it easily. And this one, I make sure that we have two sides. So you can protect yourself from cold and, and, and the sunshine as well. The luggage you put behind there or here. Because it's hang on the tree and on the string. It will not break any of your rock, your structure, of your tent. It's very light, it's very small and smart. Introducing the SM Tent Series, designed for protection with a touch of imagination. The SM Smart Tent. This remarkably innovative tent utilizes an intelligent design that is multifunctional and lightweight. little privacy? No problem.
the 32nd tent. The outer layer of this tent is made of a special fabric. It's lined with a silver metallic coating that is heat resistant, waterproof, and fireproof. The personal meditation tent. SM10 series. Simply convenient, simply smart. Please visit www.thecelestialshop.com. That's www.thecelestialshop.com. Thank all the reporters, journalists, photographers, camera persons, individuals, groups, companies everywhere in the world for all your contributions of news that bring hope to humans and animals, thus uplifting the atmosphere of our planet. May heaven bless your noble endeavors and protect you always, especially while on duty. Fortunate and blessed are we to be co-inhabitants with the amazing animals that graze and color our planet. In countless beneficial ways, they add beauty and joy to our lives. Their nobility through unconditional love, loyalty, and heroic life-saving actions is a constant source of wonder and inspiration. What would our world be like without our fun and intelligent animal friends? We simply could not imagine it. Thanks be to the Providence for all the cherished animals. May we always honor their God-given precious lives as we honor a part of ourselves. Horas para pemirsa yang budiman means hello righteous viewers in Indonesia. I'm Ratnawati in Pretty Rantau Prapat on the island of Sumatra. Your peace protecting effort in your country is also contributing to world peace. Fragrant Indonesia thanks you too. Hello there. I'm Jeremy from Multicultural London in Royal United Kingdom. Heaven loves those who love and help other beings. And heaven loves you for your selfless aid to those in need. We also thank you. Welcome to Noteworthy News, benefiting news for a happier world. Benefiting news for a progressive world. Supreme Master Television brings you good news from around our beautiful planet 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Our programs can be viewed online at suprememastertv.com. In today's news, United Arab Emirates and China agree to develop partnership. Displaced Syrians return home. Japan provides funds to build schools in Haiti. Tourism grows in Zimbabwe. And Facility for Veterans Without Homes in Baltimore, Maryland, USA gets its own barbershop. All this and more on Supreme Master Television, your constructive global TV channel. United Arab Emirates and China increase partnership. Following his official visit to the United Arab Emirates, President of China, His Excellency Xi Jinping stated that the two nations have agreed to increase their collaboration in several fields such as energy, technology, and infrastructure. President Xi said, 
Our bonds of cooperation are growing stronger. China and the UAE have become both some friends who help and complement each other and important partners who always communicate and coordinate with each other on regional and international affairs. Our warmest good wishes and gratitude the United Arab Emirates and China for joining your strengths. May the common good of your thoughtful citizens be multiplied by your mutually beneficial dedication. Over 750,000 displaced Syrians return home. According to the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, or UNHCR, over 750,000 internally displaced persons in Syria, as well as approximately 13,000 Syrian refugees residing in neighboring countries. The first six months of 2018, the amount of displaced citizens returning so far in 2018 almost equals the total number of displaced people that returned to their homes in Syria during all of 2017. Our hearts sing a chorus of joy upon hearing such encouraging news. May peaceful progress and steady improvements become the new constant among the harmony-loving people of Syria. Up next, new research encourages the adoption of a plant-based diet. We'll take a moment to thank the metal fabricators for making the necessary parts for our machines and structures. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television we're looking forward to sharing more alleviating news with you. We go to any extreme to protect our children here. And here. And here. Well, there's a great way to protect our kids here against diseases like cancer, heart disease, and obesity. A diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, vegetarian foods. Now you can protect your kids from the inside out. To learn more, call 866-906-WELL. Hi, I'm Cuddly, the koala, and this is my lovely mom, Comfy. Cuddly and I are vegans because it's cool. We have a tip to help you stop a bad eating habit. It's quite easy. Just keep healthy snacks like fresh fruits, vegetables and nuts with you at all times. Keep them at your work as well as your home. And make sure you have them with you when you travel. Thank you for your attention. And love you for being veg and going green to save the planet. Thus, save the world. Now the World Wide Weather.
Research shows global transition to plant-based diet can provide food for all. A new study states that if people shift to a mostly vegan diet, current food production can adequately feed the projected 9.7 billion people in 2050. Otherwise, current levels of meat consumption require a 119% increase in edible food production. Moreover, the world's livestock system is using 45% of the planet's arable land, which is land that could be used for growing food crops. The report was published by Lancaster University Environment Center, an associate sustainability consultancy company, Small World Consulting, both of the United Kingdom. Their research also emphasized that a change in attitude concerning which crops are considered suitable for human consumption was necessary. For example, maize could be used to feed more humans. We are deeply thankful for you shining the light on what is needed for a viable future. Lancaster University Environment Center and Small World Consulting Researchers. Let's continue sharing the vegan solution to safeguard all beings on our blessed earth. Japan donates 20 million US dollars to build schools in Haiti. The funds will be used to construct 12 primary schools to be ready by September for the coming school year. These plans are aligned with the current Haitian government goal to expand education access and create 15,000 new classrooms by 2022. The new schools are being built to be able to withstand cyclones and comply with seismic regulations. You exemplify generosity, Government of Japan. May the new schools provide many bright Haitian children the opportunity for a first-class education in heaven's grace. Tourism grows in Zimbabwe. There was an almost 50% increase in the number of tourists who came to see the spectacular Victoria Falls in Zimbabwe in the first quarter of this year compared to the same time period in 2017. Other incredible places to visit in Zimbabwe include Wangi National Park, the country's largest natural reserve, the Eastern Highlands mountain range, and Lake Kariba, the Earth's largest man-made lake and reservoir by volume. Situated along the border between Zambia and Zimbabwe, Speaking of her experience visiting Zimbabwe, Canadian tourist Kathleen Pretzlaff said, I feel very safe. The people are welcoming. Getting the visa was really easy. Good luck, Zimbabwe. May more people get to know your scenic country. Coming up, Brazil Parliament takes steps to prohibit cosmetic animal testing. We'll spend time to thank the countless soil microorganisms which provide the world's flora with essential nutrients. Supreme Master Television will return in just a moment with more exceptional news. So saying, he pronounced the following stanza. Yes. For those who are ever vigilant, and train themselves day and night upon nirvana ever intent their pollutions are eradicated at the conclusion of the lesson puna even as she stood there was established in the fruit of stream entry the assemble company also profited by the lessons Please join us for Buddhist Stories, The Bones Woman Puna, Part 2 of 2, on Between Master and Disciples, on Tuesday, September 11th, 2018, to find out more. Welcome back to Noteworthy News, distinguished news for a brilliant world. Brazil takes significant step to ban cosmetic testing on animals. 
Members of the Legislative Assembly of the State of Minas Gerais in Brazil have successfully confirmed a bill authored by State Deputy the Honorable Noraldino Junior to ban cosmetics testing on animals. Minas Gerais is the seventh state to join the Be Cruelty Free Brazil campaign with the states of Sao Paulo, Mato Grosso do Sol, Paraná, Amazonas, Pará and Rio de Janeiro having already adopted the animal protection legislation. The historic initiative is supported by a collaboration of animal rights groups, including Humane Society International, the Minero Movement for Animal Rights, and the National Forum for the Protection and Defense of Animals. We feel so touched and grateful for your noble efforts on behalf of our innocent animal friends, the Honorable Noraldino Junior, Minas Gerais Legislative Assembly members, and the animal welfare groups at Be Cruelty Free Brazil. May all governments and citizens take courageous action to protect our well-wishing and sweet co-inhabitants. Center for Homeless Veterans in Maryland, USA gets its own barbershop. Maryland Center for Veterans Education and Training, or MCVET, in the city of Baltimore now has its own barbershop and beauty salon offering free haircuts and grooming services. The facility also serves to train aspiring barbers in the profession. It was brought to the veterans by American nonprofit Rob's Barbershop Community Foundation, which was founded by former barbershop owner Robert Cradle who wanted to help those who could not afford or did not have access to haircutting services. Sereta Spencer, Director of Development and Community Engagement at MC Vet, spoke of the positive effects of the MC Vet Barbershop, saying, It makes veterans smile. If you look good, you feel good, and you perform better. Such a loving and thoughtful way to serve beautiful veterans. God bless your noble endeavor, Robert Cradle, and the Maryland Center for Veterans Education and Training. May your program help many individuals greet bright days full of hope and accomplishment. Time now to enjoy the joke of the day, entitled, Faulty Refrigerator Advice. A man calls a refrigerator repair service. My refrigerator isn't working. What kind is it? It's a small one. Electric gas or propane? Propane. Ah, then the problem is most likely a vapor lock. You don't need a service call. Just turn the refrigerator upside down for a few minutes to allow the lock to clear. Then put it back and all should be well. Second call a few minutes later the least she could have done is to tell me to empty the fridge first. <laughs> and now we have a heartline from Manoj Kumar in Indonesia. Dear Supreme Master, My name is Manoj Kumar living in Bali, Indonesia. I love your food at Laughing Hut and I'm vegetarian by birth. I would like to receive a franchise for a Laughing Heart in Ubud, Bali. Please let me know the procedure. Regards, Manoj Kumar, Bali, Indonesia. Dearest Manoj Kumar, Another Loving Hut vegan restaurant in our world? How wonderful! The more Loving Huts, the better for humanity, the animals, and the environment. Please contact the Loving Hut headquarters at info at lovinghut.com to find out more information. Or you can just open a vegan restaurant yourself. If you are not a Kuan Yin practitioner, though not with the name Loving Hut, as they are managed only by our members. Vegan restaurants are always beneficial to the world, no matter who operates them. Loving Hut is not a so-called franchise chain of vegan restaurants. It's just because the name Loving Hut was designed by Master that the disciples would like to keep it within our association circle. Moreover, there are certain rules to adhere to. For example, the food has to be strictly vegan and as organic as possible. Also, harmful substances such as alcohol are prohibited to serve in Loving Hut. Thank you. Wishing you all the best and may heaven bless Indonesia. 
Supreme Master TV staff. We welcome your heartlines and stories. Please send them to heartline at suprememastertv.com. We sure have enjoyed spending time with you on noteworthy news. May your heart rejoice in the glory of God. Wishing you a grace-filled week. We thank all the reporters, journalists, photographers, camera persons, individuals, groups, companies everywhere in the world for all your contributions of news that bring hope to humans and animals, thus uplifting the atmosphere of our planet. May heaven bless your noble endeavors and protect you always, especially while on duty. details, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash NWN. The benefits of drug abstinence and treatment. In the U.S., treatment for drug addiction has been shown to save lives, reduce crime, and rebuild families, along with 69% of those treated being drug-free one year after treatment, 64% reduction in arrests one year after treatment. A vaccine has been developed by the United Kingdom that can help win cocaine addicts by preventing a high from the drug. Research confirms that an herbal supplement, N-acetylcysteine or NAC, helps reduce cocaine cravings and may also be effective in treating heroin addiction. When used as a supplement to standard drug counseling, a computer program providing outpatient therapy proves helpful for addicts in becoming drug-free. A California USA study found that for every one US dollar invested in drug treatment, seven US dollars were saved through reduced crime, health, and welfare costs, and increased income stability. 60% of cocaine and heroin in the U.S. is consumed by people who get arrested in the same year. Thus, treatment that helps them to overcome drug addiction reduces crime and market demand for drugs. A doctor in Arizona, USA, identified a new outpatient treatment for methamphetamine addicts, showing an over 60% success rate in rehabilitation. Since 1991, when substitution treatment became available for all heroin users in Zurich, Switzerland, the number of new addicts dropped greatly. 30% of U.S. inmates who were able to receive drug treatment while in prison remained drug-free, with reduced likelihood of being arrested again. 76% of people participating in both drug treatment programs in prison and post-prison treatment in the U.S. remained drug-free, with increasing rates of law-abiding citizenry. 20 years of research in the U.S. has demonstrated that drug treatment programs are effective in reducing crime, as well as improving the health and social function of participants. The Washington State Institute for Public Policy Research in the U.S. finds that treatment programs for youth drug users are effective and can save the state between $1,900 U.S. to $31,200 U.S. per child. Drug-free workplace programs are found to result in lower absenteeism, fewer accidents, higher productivity, improved morale, better employee health, decreased use and expenses for health benefits, lower corporate insurance premium costs. The following response was rated as the best answer to a question posted on Yahoo Ask regarding the benefits of being drug-free. No fear of police. No fear of needle-infected side on the body. No fear of frying the brain. No fear of impaired driving and thus accidents. Delight in being free to observe the world by vision, touch, taste, speech or hearing without compromised senses. Joy of being fully functional in a crisis or emergency. Ability to tell others about the joys of drug-free life. Government Actions Through the use of satellite remote sensors, China has been able to remove virtually all opium plantations and heroin processing locations. The New Zealand Police Association suggests parental approaches that may help children avoid involvement with drugs such as Providing constructive encouragement Talking and listening as a family Instilling values that promote inner self-esteem 
For International Day Against Drug Abuse and Illicit Trafficking, Thailand, China and Cambodia publicly incinerate illegal drugs. The United Kingdom government has implemented budget reforms to encourage drug users to attend rehabilitation courses. Pakistan and China work together to reduce drug trafficking between their borders. The Colombian Navy successfully intercepted 10 tons of cocaine and stopped it from being smuggled into the country by submarine. A three-year anti-drug campaign in China raises awareness and increases the number of people who remain drug-free. For more information, please visit www.suprememastertv.com. case where five people were in an accident and four of them had near-death experiences and the fifth one didn't. So there has to be a reason, but we just don't know uh, what that reason is. And so, as I said, I have to leave that to the greater powers than I. Watch on to find out more. Greetings, esteemed friends, and welcome to Exploring the Afterlife with Dr. Diane Corcoran, part one of two. We have the honor of having our program presented by neurologist Dr. Sarol Geraldi of Mongolia. Dr. Geraldi earned her Doctor of Medicine degree from the Medical University of Mongolia in Ulaanbaatar. This highly skilled physician completed residency programs in three specialties, otorhinolaryngology, acupuncture, and neurology. In years past, she worked as an ear, nose, and throat specialist at the ENT hospital AMJJ in Ulaanbaatar and is currently director and a neurologist at the vegan hospital in Mongolia called the Korsan Neurology and Rehabilitation Hospital. Сайн байцгаан уу ухаалаг эрхэм үзэгчтэй Монгол орноос гэрэлт ягийн саруул мэндчилж байна. Хязгааргүй зэлмэг тэнгэр сэтгэл дулаацуулам нар та бүхэнд ариун их хайр ажлыг авчирч байхыг Монголын ард түмэн ерөөж байна. Доктор Дианта хамт өглийн дараа хамдрлыг судлах үе нэвтрүүлгийн нэгдүгээр хэсэгт тавтай морилно. Өнгөрсөн хэдэн 10 жилд олон мянган хүмүүс клиник хөхөлд орсон тухайгаа мэдээлж үзсэн гайхалтай зүйлсийнх нь талаар хэд хэдэн ном бичигдсэн байдаг. Олон хүний хувьд клиник хөхөл нь тэдний амьдралыг үзэх үзэл амьдрах хэв маягийг нь гүн өөрчилсөн Яад ийм гүн нөлөөтэй байна вэ? Клиник хөхлийн үеэр хүн юу харж ойлгодог вэ? Өнөөдрийн нэвтрүүлгээр бид олон улсын алдартай айлтгагч клиник хөхлийн мэрэгжилтэн Диан Каркаранти хийсэн ярилцлыг хүргэх болно. 50 орчим жилийн турш Диан эдгээр ер бусын туршлагын талаар судалж хүмүүст зөвлөгөө өгсөөр иржээ. Хэдэн жилийн турш тэрэр Клиник хөхлийн судалгааны олон улсын нийгэмлэгийн захирал байсан юм. Тэрээр мөн би үзэл өгөхөд клиник хөхлийн болон ер бусын шилжилтийн туршлагаачдын нэг бөгөөд Ахмад Дайчдын клиник хөхөлд орсныг судлах төслийн ахлах судлаач юм. Хатагтай Каркаран сувилхийн ухааны удирдлагын PhD зэрэгтэй. Өнөөдөр хатагтай Каркаран клиник хөхлийг юу бүрдүүлдгийг тайлбарлах болно. An NDE is an exceptional experience that is universal and international and has about 15 characteristics. Um, and you have one or two or five or maybe all 15 of these characteristics. Usually starts with some kind of a clinical crisis. 
And then you go on to have one of these uh, characteristics like um, floating out of your body, like um, uh, seeing other spirit. And then um, it becomes a lifelong uh, experience. This is not a trivial experience that happens like a dream. Um, it, it's an experience that will change your life forever. Хүмүүс клиник өвхөлд орсны дараа амьдралдаа маш их өөрчлөлт хийдэг болохыг Диана анзаарчээ. It takes a while to integrate a near death experience into your life. So ordinarily what you would think is very positive. For example, they become less materialistic and uh, they move to different professions. They might have been um, you know, uh, a bank uh, president or something and then they want to do something more altruistic many of them become chaplains therapists um, much more helping professions so they do go on to do really helpful things uh, and it takes a while to integrate that into your life and so it's something that we only hear about years later after they've had the time to do that and some of their stories are remarkable хэдийгээр хин нэг хүн далдын эсвэл ер бусын зүйлсэд итгэдгүй байлаач клиник өхөлд орох боломжтой гэдгийг хатгатай каркаран олж мэдчихэе my father had an nde after a heart attack um, and I was with him when he was resuscitated. And he immediately told me about this experience he had. Now, he was not a man who believed any of those kinds of things. So he really told me about it and then said, I don't want to talk about it anymore. So it, it helped uh, solidify my beliefs because it, here was a man who didn't believe in any of those kind of paranormal things, but he believed that that had happened to him. So it was one more step in my development of understanding and living by the um, near-death experience and helping people who had them. I, uh, after a while, there was no um, guessing or there was no misunderstanding about near-death experiences. I believe those people that would tell me about them and um, I just worked with them on their experience and owning their own experience. While you were working at Darnham Arm, Arm Hospital at Fort Hood, Texas, one of your patients had an NDE, she made a final request of you before she passed away. What was the request and how did the incidents change you? Well, the request that um, I never let patients be compromised by the doctors. Sometimes doctors and even clergy um, don't believe the patients and therefore they make the patients feel bad uh, while they're trying to tell about this exceptional experience they had. And mostly that's out of ignorance. They don't know anything about NDEs, so they just ignore it. And uh, really, that's been my lifetime pursuit, is that nobody should have to be compromised or made to feel bad because they had an NDE and they tried to tell somebody about it. That's the same thing that happens to children. Children tell their parents one time, and if the parents don't believe them, they will not talk about it again. And sometimes they can go for years and years with um, being very isolated because they didn't have parents that believed them. And so it's, as I said, uh, that's certainly my pursuit over the last 50 years has to been to teach doctors and nurses and social workers about NDEs so they can support and um, help patients just know the experience. They don't have to believe in it themselves, but if they just will support them and let them own their own experience, 
that will be a big help in itself. Narni Dutam Nishin Dej, Ekim Andrihan Dutu, Bokan Tatarhar, Turtasarte, Tomotkoi, Irgin Irhosen. All information concerning the scientific evidence of climate change and its solution is in Supreme Master Ching Hai's book, From Crisis to Peace, free to download at crisistopeace.org. Клинт Куклин Тазар Ботон, Аллоус Син Клинт Куклин Ричтен, Диан Каркаренте Хисни Струтихтмен, Ирин Тафтамерсно. Do you think this experience is limited to people who believe in certain religions? I don't. After all these years, the single most important question we get is who has near death experience and who does not? Is it people who need them? Is it why do some people have them and some people don't? We really don't know the answer to that question. Um, I have to believe that there's a greater power that has an answer to that question. And so I leave it up to them. Um, why certain people have them? At many times it's really exceptional. There are people who don't believe in any religion who have near-death experiences. Um, I know of a case where five people were in an accident and four of them had near-death experiences and the fifth one didn't. So there has to be a reason, but we just don't know uh, what that reason is. And so, as I said, I have to leave that to the greater powers than I. When you served in Vietnam as a nurse, many soldiers told you their near-death experiences. Can you give us a couple of stories that impressed you the most? Uh, probably um, one young soldier, and they were boys at that time, 17, 18 years old, mm -hmm. and I was a brand new nurse, and uh, it was 1969, so there's nothing that's been written about NDEs. And this young man called me over to his bed in the middle of the night. He'd had surgery. His wounds had been, were not life-threatening, but they were in the field when he was shot. And 
he told me, he said, I've got to tell you something, but you've got to promise that you'll believe me. And he had tears rolling down his cheeks and he was very emotional. And I said, absolutely, I'll believe you. And so he ex told me about this experience when he was shot. He felt his spiritual body, he said, come outside of his physical body. And he could see other spirits of other soldiers that had been wounded in this attack. And um, he mentioned, you know, once that happened, there was no pain. And then he was going up and up and he said, I saw lots of beautiful colors. And he started, he just really talked um, about what we know is a typical NDE. Um, but at that time, I didn't even know what a typical NDE was. So I really just told him I thought it was an exceptional experience, that he was very lucky to have had this experience, and I hope that he would treasure it as he grew older. And I've always wondered and wished that I could have gotten in touch with that young man to see how he was able to integrate it in his life. Диан Кокраны талаар илүү дэлгэрэнгүй мэдээлэл авахыг хүсвэл дараа хаягаар зочлоорой. Кокран консалтинцыг биз. Клин Куклин олон улсын нийгэмлэгийн талаар илүү дэлгэрэнгүй мэдээлэл авахыг хүсвэл дараа хаягаар зочлоорой. ianz.org Эхэн үзэгчтэй өнөөдрийн Доктор Диан Каркаранте хамт өглийн дараа хандрлыг судалгаа нэвтрүүлгийн нэгдүгээр хэсгийг үүсэнд баярлалаа. Сэтгэл сарын 17-нд биднээ дахин хамт байж клиник өглийн талаарх сонирхолтой ярилцлагыг үргэлжлүүлэн үзээрэй. Одоо бодол санааны кинетик заавшлагаа эргээр бодох багаж нэвтрүүлгийн нэгдүгээр хэсэг гарна. Та бүхэн бурхны хайранд өдөр бүр хамгаалагдаж байх болтгой. Дара олцла байрта. Precious viewers, thank you for joining us for part one of our two-part series, exploring the afterlife with Dr. Dan Corcoran. Please join us again on September 17th as we continue our fascinating discussion about NDEs. Coming up next is Mind Kinetics, Coaching Positive Thinking Tools, Part 1 of 2. May you feel embraced and protected every day by the immense love of the divine. See you next time. For more details, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash ss. Do you know where your taxes are going? In 2008 and 2009, the U.S. Farm Service Agency lent nearly 30 million U.S. dollars to factory hog and poultry farms to build or expand their facilities in the state of Missouri alone. However, with pork supply greater than demand, the government spent 55 million U.S. dollars in taxpayer dollars repurchasing surpluses as of May 2009, with the pork producers asking for an additional 100 million U.S. dollars for projected losses. There were big promises made that these barns would just revitalize a region and a community and bring in all these jobs, etc. That hasn't happened. There's a 10 to 15 percent mortality rate in these hog barns because of the confined way they live. So the jobs didn't materialize and, and communities didn't grow or prosper. And, and in fact, instead of providing benefits, they extracted wealth from communities. We 
are the ones who are paying the industry to continue producing this problem, producing meat, fish and the like with our hard-earned tax money that's used to subsidize them. Ironic, huh? And all the while, we are suffering from illness, losing lives, grieving over lost loved ones, family members, losing happiness, losing money due to the animal diet. The government could, of course, redirect the billions of dollars now spent on livestock subsidies to help farmers switch to organic vegetable and fruit agriculture. The government could use this powerful tools to spread campaigns about veg alternatives, bans on meat, and laws to help people switch to organic vegan farming and consumption. A global switch to a veg diet could even save the world government a lot of money, as much as 80% of all the climate mitigation costs of 40 trillion US dollars by year 2050. That is, we save 32 trillion US dollars in climate mitigation costs and having a healthy vegan population is a good deal, good business deal in all positive aspects. Be veg, go green to save the planet. For more urgent details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash B dash veg. Thank all the reporters, journalists, photographers, camera persons, individuals, groups, companies everywhere in the world for all your contributions of news that bring hope to humans and animals, thus uplifting the atmosphere of our planet. May heaven bless your noble endeavors and protect you always, especially while on duty. Fortunate and blessed are we to be co-inhabitants with the amazing animals that graze and color our planet. In countless beneficial ways, they add beauty and joy to our lives. Their nobility through unconditional love, loyalty, and heroic life-saving actions is a constant source of wonder and inspiration. What would our world be like without our fun and intelligent animal friends? We simply could not imagine it. Thanks be to the Providence for all the cherished animals. May we always honor their God-given precious lives as we honor a part of ourselves. Horas para pemirsa yang budiman means hello righteous viewers in Indonesia. I'm Ratnawati in Pretty Rantau Prapat on the island of Sumatra. Your peace protecting effort in your country is also contributing to world peace. Fragrant Indonesia thanks you too. Hello there. I'm Jeremy from Multicultural London in Royal United Kingdom. Heaven loves those who love and help other beings. And heaven loves you for your selfless aid to those in need. We also thank you. Welcome to Noteworthy News, benefiting news for a happier world. Benefiting news for a progressive world. Supreme Master Television brings you good news from around our beautiful planet 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Our programs can be viewed online at suprememastertv.com. In today's news, United Arab Emirates and China agree to develop partnership. Displaced Syrians return home. 
Japan provides funds to build schools in Haiti. Tourism grows in Zimbabwe and facility for veterans without homes in Baltimore, Maryland, USA gets its own barbershop. All this and more on Supreme Master Television, your constructive global TV channel. United Arab Emirates and China increase partnership. Following his official visit to the United Arab Emirates, President of China, His Excellency Xi Jinping stated that the two nations have agreed to increase their collaboration in several fields such as energy, technology, and infrastructure. President Xi said, Our bonds of cooperation are growing stronger. China and the UAE have become bosom friends who help and complement each other, and important partners who always communicate and coordinate with each other on regional and international affairs. Our warmest good wishes and gratitude the United Arab Emirates and China for joining your strengths. May the common good of your thoughtful citizens be multiplied by your mutually beneficial dedication. Over 750,000 displaced Syrians return home. According to the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, or UNHCR, over 750,000 internally displaced persons in Syria, as well as approximately 13,000 Syrian refugees residing in neighboring countries, have been able to return to their homes during the first six months of 2018. The amount of displaced citizens returning so far in 2018 almost equals the total number of displaced people that returned to their homes in Syria during all of 2017. Our hearts sing a chorus of joy upon hearing such encouraging news. May peaceful progress and steady improvements become the new constant among the harmony-loving people of Syria. Up next, new research encourages the adoption of a plant-based diet. We'll take a moment to thank the metal fabricators for making the necessary parts for our machines and structures. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. We're looking forward to sharing more alleviating news with you. Heard of veganism in Italy? Well, it's a passionate and romantic story. A day in vegan-friendly Turin, part one of two. Watch on Tuesday, September 11th to find out more. Cuddly and I are vegans because it's cool. We have a tip to help you stop a bad eating habit. It's quite easy. Just keep healthy snacks like fresh fruits, vegetables and nuts with you at all times. Keep them at your work as well as your home. And make sure you have them with you when you travel. Thank you for your attention. And love you for being veg and going green to save the planet. Thus, save the world. Now the World Wide Weather.
Research shows global transition to plant-based diet can provide food for all. A new study states that if people shift to a mostly vegan diet, current food production can adequately feed the projected 9.7 billion people in 2050. Otherwise, current levels of meat consumption require a 119% increase in edible food production. Moreover, the world's livestock system is using 45% of the planet's arable land, which is land that could be used for growing food crops. The report was published by Lancaster University Environment Center, an associate sustainability consultancy company, Small World Consulting, both of the United Kingdom. Their research also emphasized that a change in attitude concerning which crops are considered suitable for human consumption was necessary. For example, maize could be used to feed more humans. We are deeply thankful for you shining the light on what is needed for a viable future. Lancaster University Environment Center and Small World Consulting Researchers. Let's continue sharing the vegan solution to safeguard all beings on our blessed earth. Japan donates 20 million US dollars to build schools in Haiti. The funds will be used to construct 12 primary schools to be ready by September for the coming school year. These plans are aligned with the current Haitian government goal to expand education access and create 15,000 new classrooms by 2022. The new schools are being built to be able to withstand cyclones and comply with seismic regulations. You exemplify generosity, Government of Japan. May the new schools provide many bright Haitian children the opportunity for a first-class education in heaven's grace. Tourism grows in Zimbabwe. There was an almost 50% increase in the number of tourists who came to see the spectacular Victoria Falls in Zimbabwe in the first quarter of this year compared to the same time period in 2017. Other incredible places to visit in Zimbabwe include Wangi National Park, the country's largest natural reserve, the Eastern Highlands mountain range, and Lake Kariba, the Earth's largest man-made lake and reservoir by volume. Situated along the border between Zambia and Zimbabwe, Speaking of her experience visiting Zimbabwe, Canadian tourist Kathleen Pretzlaff said, I feel very safe. The people are welcoming. Getting the visa was really easy. Good luck, Zimbabwe. May more people get to know your scenic country. Coming up, Brazil Parliament takes steps to prohibit cosmetic animal testing. We'll spend time to thank the countless soil microorganisms which provide the world's flora with essential nutrients. Supreme Master Television will return in just a moment with more exceptional news. When the radiance of a soul in love with a mighty brightness and the magnanimous love weaves lives to the fullest, then the ultimate knowing forms a special destiny. Welcome back to Noteworthy News. 
Distinguished news for a brilliant world. Brazil takes significant step to ban cosmetic testing on animals. Members of the Legislative Assembly of the State of Minas Gerais in Brazil have successfully confirmed a bill authored by State Deputy the Honorable Noraldino Junior to ban cosmetics testing on animals. Minas Gerais is the seventh state to join the Be Cruelty Free Brazil campaign with the states of Sao Paulo, Mato Grosso do Sol, Paraná, Amazonas, Pará and Rio de Janeiro having already adopted the animal protection legislation. The historic initiative is supported by a collaboration of animal rights groups, including Humane Society International, the Minero Movement for Animal Rights, and the National Forum for the Protection and Defense of Animals. We feel so touched and grateful for your noble efforts on behalf of our innocent animal friends, the Honorable Noraldino Junior, Minas Gerais Legislative Assembly members, and the animal welfare groups at Be Cruelty Free Brazil. May all governments and citizens take courageous action to protect our well-wishing and sweet co-inhabitants. Center for Homeless Veterans in Maryland, USA gets its own barbershop. Maryland Center for Veterans Education and Training, or MCVET, in the city of Baltimore now has its own barbershop and beauty salon offering free haircuts and grooming services. The facility also serves to train aspiring barbers in the profession. It was brought to the veterans by American nonprofit Rob's Barbershop Community Foundation, which was founded by former barbershop owner Robert Cradle, who wanted to help those who could not afford or did not have access to haircutting services. Sereta Spencer, Director of Development and Community Engagement at MC Vet, spoke of the positive effects of the MC Vet Barbershop, saying, It makes veterans smile. If you look good, you feel good, and you perform better. Such a loving and thoughtful way to serve beautiful veterans. God bless your noble endeavor, Robert Cradle, and the Maryland Center for Veterans Education and Training. May your program help many individuals greet bright days full of hope and accomplishment. Time now to enjoy the joke of the day, entitled, Faulty Refrigerator Advice. A man calls a refrigerator repair service. My refrigerator isn't working. What kind is it? It's a small one. Electric gas or propane? Propane. Ah, then the problem is most likely a vapor lock. You don't need a service call. Just turn the refrigerator upside down for a few minutes to allow the lock to clear. Then put it back and all should be well. Second call a few minutes later. The least he could have done is to tell me to empty the fridge first. <laughs> and now we have a heartline from Manoj Kumar in Indonesia. Dear Supreme Master, my name is Manoj Kumar living in Bali, Indonesia. I love your food at Laughing Hut and I'm vegetarian by birth. I would like to receive a franchise for a Laughing Hut in Ubud, Bali. Please let me know the procedure. Regards, Manoj Kumar, Bali, Indonesia. Dearest Manoj Kumar, another Loving Hut vegan restaurant in our world? How wonderful! The more loving huts, the better for humanity, the animals, and the environment. Please contact the Loving Hut headquarters at info at lovinghut.com to find out more information. Or you can just open a vegan restaurant yourself. If you are not a Kuan Yin practitioner, though not with the name Loving Hut, as they are managed only by our members. Vegan restaurants are always beneficial to the world, no matter who operates them. Loving Hut is not a so-called franchise chain of vegan restaurants. It's just because the name Loving Hut was designed by Master that the disciples would like to keep it within our association circle. Moreover, there are certain rules to adhere to. For example, the food has to be strictly vegan and as organic as possible. 
Also, harmful substances such as alcohol are prohibited to serve in Loving Hut. Thank you. Wishing you all the best and may heaven bless Indonesia. Supreme Master TV Staff. We welcome your heartlines and stories. Please send them to heartline at suprememastertv.com. We sure have enjoyed spending time with you on Noteworthy News. May your heart rejoice in the glory of God. Wishing you a grace-filled week. We thank all the reporters, journalists, photographers, camera persons, individuals, groups, companies everywhere in the world for all your contributions of news that bring hope to humans and animals, thus uplifting the atmosphere of our planet. May heaven bless your noble endeavors and protect you always, especially while on duty. For more details, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash NWN. Nutrition is, in my view, essential for medical doctors to include in their practice, in the treatment of patients, because with nutrition, we are able to influence chronic diseases in a very positive way. Nutrition is the most important thing that physicians should know because it determines so many different aspects of disease. With each decrease in animal products in the, in the eating pattern, you see a stepwise benefits in terms of heart disease, diabetes, cancer risk, obesity. And what you can see here, you have on the left type 2 diabetes prevalence and then you have types of diet. The vegans had the lowest at 2.9 and then you gradually go up and up. This data clearly shows diet is related to diabetes. Rheumatoid arthritis or psoriasis or Crohn's disease, all chronic debilitating diseases. Even we have now Alzheimer's disease, cataract, old age blindness, the same experience, lower risk when you're on a plant-based diet, higher risk when you are on a um, Western diet. According to the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics, in its declaration of 2016, dietas basadas en plantas son seguras y sanas in todas las etapas de la vida, incluyendo embarazo, lactancia, e infancia. If you're eating that sort of uh, diet, you're pretty much getting everything. There's no need for meat, for iron or dairy, for calcium. All plant foods have protein and almost all plant foods have all the essential amino acids. I've never seen a protein deficient patient in 26 years of medical practice and 10 years of training before that. Um, you get all the protein you need in a well-balanced, colorful, plant-based diet. My bodybuilding friends that go plant-based lift more, lift better, recover better, and compete better. The risk that a man who consumes dairy products will develop prostate cancer is higher than the risk that a smoker will develop lung cancer. Gulishaw 整个身体的状况，也都得到很好的控制，包括血压、血糖等等的。Everything that has to do with inflammation improves dramatically with plant-based nutrition, and it ought to be a cornerstone of therapy of, of every one of those conditions. That is the same diet that can help people lose weight, that can reverse heart disease, can also improve diabetes, can also be used to treat autoimmune disease. The doctor can eventually, usually, bring down medication, and in many cases, stop. We can not only stabilize diseases, we can even reverse it. There's no medication that could come close to matching that. We now have an abundance of irrefutable scientific data in the literature confirming that a whole food plant-based diet is ideal for optimal health. That eating plants can help your cells, your organs, your body stave off chronic disease, achieve and maintain your ideal body weight, enhance exercise performance, and thrive throughout the lifespan. I've seen this in the last five years, 
since I implemented this protocol into my nutrition counseling practice. When you go to the supermarket, just ignore the animal products. Go and fill up on the fresh fruit, the vegetables. That's all we're doing. We're sending our patients to the healthy part of the supermarket and the results speak for themselves. People rid themselves of blood pressure tablets, they rid themselves of joint and muscle aches, they lose weight, they feel fantastic. People feel improvement very quickly in, in a few days or maybe a week time. So satisfying for a doctor that you actually can see the patient get better. The real question about whole food plant-based diet is what doesn't it cure? It's too good to be true, but it's true. The benefits of going down that pathway from a health perspective are going to be nothing but 100% right. More than any other aspect of your life, you can vote for a better world, vote for a cleaner world, vote for a kinder world, and enhance your own health by you know, shifting your diet. It really is that simple. Vas a vivir más y vas a vivir mejor. A diet based in plant foods is the way to go. It's the key. There's nothing better for the world, for the animals, those gorgeous souls that live with us on this planet. Change your world and your interconnectivity with others by basing your diet on whole plant foods. And the list goes on. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash VE for further club list and info. Be veg now and join the club. We benefit when we know which negative beliefs we need to get rid of and which positive ones we deserve to celebrate. And then we can commit ourselves to changing our negative thoughts, words and actions into positive ones. Watch on to find out more. Effervescent friends, we are privileged to have Miss Bao Ngoc, a physiotherapist from Ola, or Vietnam, present our fascinating program, Mind Kinetics Coaching, Positive Thinking Tools, Part 1 of 2. Ms. Bao has earned her bachelor's degrees in physiotherapy and nursing. She currently provides physiotherapy services at a traditional medicine hospital. Xin chào quý khán giả cao thượng, tôi là Bảo Ngọc, đến từ đất nước Âu Lạc tuyệt vời. Người dân Âu Lạc cảm ơn quý vị luôn mang ánh dương vào cuộc sống của những người xung quanh nhờ suy nghĩ khẳng định. Hôm nay, chúng tôi rất vui được chia sẻ phần 1 trong loạt tiết mục gồm 2 phần về công việc đầy thăng hoa của cô Besker Kaber ở Canada. Cô Besker đã được trao giải thưởng cho nhiều cách thức huấn luyện và lãnh đạo sử dụng phương pháp khoa học về trí lực độc quyền của cô với mục đích giúp mọi người đạt được an bình nội tại. Là đồng chủ tịch tổ chức huấn luyện và lãnh đạo quốc tế CLI, cô Pesker được các học viên chiều mến gọi là thầy huấn luyện. Cô đã giúp nhiều người trên khắp Nam Châu đạt được mục tiêu và vượt qua nhiều khó khăn thử thách trong mọi mặt cuộc sống. Cô Besker là tác giả viết nhiều sách, trong đó có cuốn Thượng Đế trong công tác huấn luyện bí quyết sống hạnh phúc. Trí lực là một môn khoa học giúp khai tâm và tạo điều kiện để học viên đón nhận những ý tưởng mới và hành động tạo sự thay đổi tích cực lâu dài. Mind Kinetics is a superb companion to daily meditation. It literally changed my world. Welcome, Betska. So to start, tell us why positive thinking is important for the world. The only way to achieve world peace is for every person, young and old, 
to have inner peace. For example, if everyone deeply loved themselves and deeply loved others, we wouldn't have conflict within ourselves, like with others, and between countries. If everyone had positive beliefs about themselves and others, we would have heaven on earth. If we have an obligation to know precisely how we are programmed inside our minds. We benefit when we know which negative beliefs we need to get rid of and which positive ones we deserve to celebrate. And then we can commit ourselves to changing our negative thoughts, words, and actions into positive ones. So thank you very much for that, Betska. Mm -hmm. What is a real life example of positive thinking? Shandora Hedrick is a CLI, Senior Instructor of Mind Kinetics from the United States of America. Recently, she needed to have eye surgery in order to save her eyesight. She told the eye surgeon that she did not want to have an anesthetic mm -hmm. because the chemicals were too difficult on her body. The recovery from the drugs would be worse than the surgery itself. She had surgery on probably the most sensitive part of her body, and she had it without an anesthetic. How did she do it? For the entire operation, with the anesthesiologist standing by, ready by my side, I chanted the Gayatri. I did not receive the anesthesia. I remained awake. The next day, my doctor wanted to know more about this chant and was amazed. I am convinced that my recovery was propelled and that I was supported by my deep conviction not to have the drugs in my system and that my unfaltering belief in the power of the Gayatri Mantra and all it stands for. Because it is so true that what we think and what we believe we become, we must first understand what it is we do believe at a subconscious level and then transform our beliefs in order to transform our lives. Có thể quý vị muốn biết huấn luyện trí lực là gì và phương pháp này giúp chúng ta suy nghĩ khẳng định như thế nào? Huấn luyện trí lực là quá trình giúp mọi người đạt được mục tiêu và vượt qua khó khăn nhờ sử dụng kỹ năng chất vấn và lắng nghe hiệu quả. Phương pháp tiếp cận của CLI là mỗi học viên được xem là một cá nhân hoàn hảo và toàn bộ giải đáp mà họ tìm kiếm nằm trong chính họ. Nhờ sử dụng các phương pháp huấn luyện trí lực, huấn luyện viên tạo điều kiện để học viên tìm thấy các giải pháp nội tâm này. Phương cách tiếp cận này hoàn toàn khác với việc tư vấn hoặc điều trị dưới bất kỳ hình thức nào. Cách tiếp cận của phương pháp CLI rất độc đáo so với các phương pháp huấn luyện khác vì nó khuyến khích sử dụng toàn bộ trí não hay tư duy toàn diện. Pentalateral means using left brain, right brain, conscious mind, subconscious mind and superconscious mind. So when we coach someone using mind kinetics, we are inviting them to use all five parts of their brain mind for whole brain thinking. And then they can develop whole brain solutions to their challenges. Although we're going to focus here on the subconscious, we want to remember that pentalateral thinking powerfully includes our superconscious mind, our genius mind, our highest creative center, or some people call it our God self. Trong khi cô Pesker thiết lập hệ thống huấn luyện trí lực bằng một nghiên cứu tập trung vào tiềm thức, thì ở Hoa Kỳ, tiến sĩ Bruce Lipton làm việc trong phòng thí nghiệm với vai trò là nhà sinh học tế bào. Tiến sĩ Lipton mô tả tiềm thức là động lực chính trong cuộc sống, ngay cả khi chúng ta không nhận ra nó. Would say, oh, I want to uh, be healthy. I want to have great relationships, and and then you try to say, I'm running my life with these beliefs. But science has now revealed that we only run our lives with our conscious mind at most about five percent of the time. Điều này có nghĩa là trong 95% thời lượng còn lại tiềm thức của chúng ta có tác động lớn nhất đến cuộc sống của mình. 
Tiềm thức quyết định cách chúng ta phản ứng với những tình huống nhất định Các thói quen, kể cả tư tưởng và quan niệm sâu xa Mà chúng ta có thể không nhận thức được rằng mình đang có Tiến sĩ Lipton có nói trong quyền Sinh học của niềm tin rằng Khi chúng ta nhận biết cách các tư tưởng tích cực và tiêu cực này Đang kiểm soát hệ sinh học của mình như thế nào Chúng ta có thể vận dụng kiến thức đó để sống khỏe mạnh và hạnh phúc Đã đến lúc tàn bộ thư thái qua khu vườn của cô Pesker để thường lãm nhiều loại cây cỏ được cô hết lòng chăm sóc, thương yêu. Khi trở lại, chúng ta sẽ tìm hiểu cách suy nghĩ ảnh hưởng đến sức khỏe của tế bào trong cơ thể như thế nào. Xin quý vị vui lòng giữ làn sóng truyền hình vô thượng sư. Historically, we have dominated and exploited other animals and nature for our own benefit, and that has come from a sense that we are more important than anything else on this planet. That ideology, that narrative does have to change. The Ethics and Climate Change Relationship, an interview with Dr. Jeff Sebo, part one of two. Watch on September 12th to find out more. Quý vị trở lại tiết mục huấn luyện trí lực công cụ giúp suy nghĩ khẳng định phần 1 trong 2 phần trên truyền hình vô thượng sư. Cô Pesker Kaber là người phát triển phương pháp huấn luyện trí lực được trao giải, trong đó có giải nhân sự cao quý ở Mumbai, Ấn Độ và cô là đồng chủ tịch của tổ chức huấn luyện và lãnh đạo quốc tế. Khi cô Pesker trực tiếp gặp tiến sĩ Bruce Lipton, Nghiên cứu của cô về sức mạnh của tiềm thức đã mang lại nhiều biến chuyển đáng kể đối với học viên. Our subconscious mind holds incredible power. This is where our positive and negative beliefs are stored, where our patterns are stored. You know, patterns that we can take on from generation to generation like addictions for example or abuse issues and also our positive beliefs. Like loving nature could be a positive belief that we've taken on from our parents. Trong nhiều dịp, ngài Thanh Hải vô thượng sư đã thảo luận về sức mạnh to lớn của tâm trí, như trong bài giảng nhân dịp Giáng sinh năm 2002 tại trung tâm Florida, Hoa Kỳ. Thầy Nam Phật mới nói nhất thiết vi tâm tạo là vậy. Tâm của mình mình phải tạo. Mình nói những cái điều tốt, nghĩ những điều tốt Mình biến cái sự phổ định thành khẳng định Mình dạy dỗ cho chính những cái tế bào trong thân thể của mình Cho nó, nó nghĩ tốt Tức là phải hướng về, hướng thiện hiểu không? À, cái gì mình nghĩ tốt, mình nói tốt Là cái đầu óc mình, thân thể của mình Tất cả hàng triệu tỷ tế bào của trong thân thể mình nó Đều nghe lời mình rắp rắp hết á And mind kinetics does exactly what Supreme Master Ching Hai says It teaches ourselves to think good thoughts. Isn't that amazing when you think about it? Absolutely. Scientists tell us that we have between 50 and 100 trillion cells in our body. Imagine when every single one of those cells wears a happy face. Wow! CLI Science of Mind Kinetics teaches all of our cells to think positively. And in that moment, we develop solutions to challenges and goals. It does this by integrating knowledge from the sciences of cell biology, quantum physics, and neuroscience. Ban đầu cô Pesker tin rằng cô chỉ phát triển và áp dụng phương pháp huấn luyện trí lực cho riêng mình để giúp cô vượt qua ký ức tuổi thơ không hạnh phúc. Nhưng chẳng bao lâu sau, mọi người đã đến xin cô giúp đỡ. Các buổi huấn luyện trí lực của cô Pesker đã giúp các nhà lãnh đạo trở nên mạnh mẽ hơn, thấy an bình trong tâm, làm chủ tư tưởng và hành vi của bản thân, chế ngự lòng ham muốn và đạt được mục tiêu cả mức độ cá nhân lẫn trong nghề nghiệp. Để biết thêm thông tin về cô Pesker Kaper, xin vui lòng truy cập coachingandleadership.com. 
Kính mời quý vị đón xem tiếp vào thứ hai ngày 17 tháng 9 năm 2018 tiết mục huấn luyện trí lực công cụ giúp suy nghĩ khẳng định phần 2 trong hai phần trên truyền hình vô thượng sư cảm ơn quý vị đã cùng chúng tôi tìm hiểu phương pháp huấn luyện trí lực công cụ giúp suy nghĩ khẳng định phần 1 trong hai phần hôm nay tiếp theo là chuyện cổ Phật giáo người tớ gái Bunner phần 1 trong hai phần trên giữa thầy và trò mong chúng ta sẽ là nguồn sáng tình thương và an bình nội tại thank you for being with us today for mind kinetics coaching positive thinking tools part one of two up next is buddhist stories the bonds woman pruna part one of two on between master and disciples may we all be shining beacons of love and inner peace For more details, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash HL. When God declared that vengeance belonged to me, He means that do not take matters into your hands. Let the universal law take care of it. Forgive each other so that God will forgive us. Make peace with each other so that peace will prevail. Thank all the reporters, journalists, photographers, camera persons, individuals, groups, companies everywhere in the world for all your contributions of news that bring hope to humans and animals, thus uplifting the atmosphere of our planet. May heaven bless your noble endeavors and protect you always, especially while on duty. Fortunate and blessed are we to be co-inhabitants with the amazing animals that graze and color our planet. In countless beneficial ways, they add beauty and joy to our lives. Their nobility through unconditional love, loyalty, and heroic life-saving actions is a constant source of wonder and inspiration. What would our world be like without our fun and intelligent animal friends? We simply could not imagine it. Thanks be to the providence for all the cherished animals. May we always honor their God-given precious lives as we honor a part of ourselves. Horas para pemirsa yang budiman means hello righteous viewers in Indonesia. I'm Ratnawati in Pretty Rantau Prapat on the island of Sumatra. Your peace protecting effort in your country is also contributing to world peace. Fragrant Indonesia thanks you too. Hello there. I'm Jeremy from Multicultural London in Royal United Kingdom. Heaven loves those who love and help other beings. And heaven loves you for your selfless aid to those in need. We also thank you. Welcome to Noteworthy News, benefiting news for a happier world. Benefiting news for a progressive world. 
Supreme Master Television brings you good news from around our beautiful planet 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Our programs can be viewed online at suprememastertv.com. In today's news, United Arab Emirates and China agree to develop partnership. Displaced Syrians return home. Japan provides funds to build schools in Haiti. Tourism grows in Zimbabwe. And Facility for Veterans Without Homes in Baltimore, Maryland, USA gets its own barbershop. All this and more on Supreme Master Television, your constructive global TV channel. United Arab Emirates and China increase partnership. Following his official visit to the United Arab Emirates, President of China, His Excellency Xi Jinping stated that the two nations have agreed to increase their collaboration in several fields such as energy, technology, and infrastructure. President Xi said, Our bonds of cooperation are growing stronger. China and the UAE have become both some friends who help and complement each other, and important partners who always communicate and coordinate with each other on regional and international affairs. Our warmest good wishes and gratitude the United Arab Emirates and China for joining your strengths. May the common good of your thoughtful citizens be multiplied by your mutually beneficial dedication. Over 750,000 displaced Syrians return home. According to the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, or UNHCR, over 750,000 internally displaced persons in Syria, as well as approximately 13,000 Syrian refugees residing in neighboring countries, have been able to return to their homes during the first six months of 2018. The amount of displaced citizens returning so far in 2018 almost equals the total number of displaced people that returned to their homes in Syria during all of 2017. Our hearts sing a chorus of joy upon hearing such encouraging news. May peaceful progress and steady improvements become the new constant among the harmony-loving people of Syria. Up next, new research encourages the adoption of a plant-based diet. We'll take a moment to thank the metal fabricators for making the necessary parts for our machines and structures. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. We're looking forward to sharing more alleviating news with you. A bright idea. Compact fluorescent light bulbs last up to 10 times longer than traditional bulbs and use only a fraction of the energy. Answer the call. This could be good. Hey, you. Hi, I'm Cuddly, the koala, and this is my lovely mum, Comfy. Cuddly and I are vegans because it's cool. We have a tip to help you stop a bad eating habit. It's quite easy. Just keep healthy snacks like fresh fruits, vegetables and nuts with you at all times. Keep them at your work as well as your home. And make sure you have them with you when you travel. Thank you for your attention. And love you for being veg and going green to save the planet. Thus, save the world. Now the World Wide Weather.
Research shows global transition to plant-based diet can provide food for all. A new study states that if people shift to a mostly vegan diet, current food production can adequately feed the projected 9.7 billion people in 2050. Otherwise, current levels of meat consumption require a 119% increase in edible food production. Moreover, the world's livestock system is using 45% of the planet's arable land, which is land that could be used for growing food crops. The report was published by Lancaster University Environment Center, an associate sustainability consultancy company, Small World Consulting, both of the United Kingdom. Their research also emphasized that a change in attitude concerning which crops are considered suitable for human consumption was necessary. For example, maize could be used to feed more humans. We are deeply thankful for you shining the light on what is needed for a viable future. Lancaster University Environment Center and Small World Consulting Researchers. Let's continue sharing the vegan solution to safeguard all beings on our blessed earth. Japan donates 20 million US dollars to build schools in Haiti. The funds will be used to construct 12 primary schools to be ready by September for the coming school year. These plans are aligned with the current Haitian government goal to expand education access and create 15,000 new classrooms by 2022. The new schools are being built to be able to withstand cyclones and comply with seismic regulations. You exemplify generosity, Government of Japan. May the new schools provide many bright Haitian children the opportunity for a first-class education in heaven's grace. Tourism grows in Zimbabwe. There was an almost 50% increase in the number of tourists who came to see the spectacular Victoria Falls in Zimbabwe in the first quarter of this year compared to the same time period in 2017. Other incredible places to visit in Zimbabwe include Wangi National Park, the country's largest natural reserve, the Eastern Highlands mountain range, and Lake Kariba, the Earth's largest man-made lake and reservoir by volume, situated along the border between Zambia and Zimbabwe. Speaking of her experience visiting Zimbabwe, Canadian tourist Kathleen Pretzlaff said, I feel very safe. The people are welcoming. Getting the visa was really easy. Good luck, Zimbabwe. May more people get to know your scenic country. Coming up, Brazil Parliament takes steps to prohibit cosmetic animal testing. We'll spend time to thank the countless soil microorganisms which provide the world's flora with essential nutrients. Supreme Master Television will return in just a moment with more exceptional news. What is death? Is it not the separation of soul and body? To find out more, please join us on Wednesday, September 12, 2018, for part one of our two-part program entitled Selection from Plato's Dialogue, Phaedo, on Words of Wisdom. Welcome back to Noteworthy News, distinguished news for a brilliant world. Brazil takes significant step to ban cosmetic testing on animals. Members of the Legislative Assembly of the State of Minas Gerais in Brazil have successfully confirmed a bill, authored by State Deputy the Honorable Noraldino Junior, to ban cosmetics testing on animals. 
Minas Gerais is the seventh state to join the Be Cruelty Free Brazil campaign, with the states of Sao Paulo, Mato Grosso do Sol, Paraná, Amazonas, Pará, and Rio de Janeiro having already adopted the animal protection legislation. The historic initiative is supported by a collaboration of animal rights groups, including Humane Society International, the Minero Movement for Animal Rights, and the National Forum for the Protection and Defense of Animals. We feel so touched and grateful for your noble efforts on behalf of our innocent animal friends, the Honorable Noraldino Junior, Minas Gerais Legislative Assembly members, and the animal welfare groups at Be Cruelty Free Brazil. May all governments and citizens take courageous action to protect our well-wishing and sweet co-inhabitants. Center for Homeless Veterans in Maryland, USA gets its own barbershop. Maryland Center for Veterans Education and Training, or MCVET, in the city of Baltimore now has its own barbershop and beauty salon offering free haircuts and grooming services. The facility also serves to train aspiring barbers in the profession. It was brought to the veterans by American nonprofit Rob's Barbershop Community Foundation, which was founded by former barbershop owner Robert Cradle, who wanted to help those who could not afford or did not have access to haircutting services. Sereta Spencer, Director of Development and Community Engagement at MC Vet, spoke of the positive effects of the MC Vet Barbershop, saying, It makes veterans smile. If you look good, you feel good, and you perform better. Such a loving and thoughtful way to serve beautiful veterans. God bless your noble endeavor, Robert Cradle, and the Maryland Center for Veterans Education and Training. May your program help many individuals greet bright days full of hope and accomplishment. Time now to enjoy the joke of the day, entitled, Faulty Refrigerator Advice. A man calls a refrigerator repair service. My refrigerator isn't working. What kind is it? It's a small one. Electric gas or propane? Propane. Ah, then the problem is most likely a vapor lock. You don't need a service call. Just turn the refrigerator upside down for a few minutes to allow the lock to clear. Then put it back and all should be well. Second call a few minutes later. The least he could have done is to tell me to empty the fridge first. <laughs> and now we have a heartline from Manoj Kumar in Indonesia. Dear Supreme Master, My name is Manoj Kumar living in Bali, Indonesia. I love your food at Laughing Hut and I'm vegetarian by birth. I would like to receive a franchise for a Laughing Hut in Ubud, Bali. Please let me know the procedure. Regards, Manoj Kumar, Bali, Indonesia. Dearest Manoj Kumar, Another Loving Hut vegan restaurant in our world? How wonderful! The more loving huts, the better for humanity, the animals, and the environment. Please contact the Loving Hut headquarters at info at lovinghut.com to find out more information. Or you can just open a vegan restaurant yourself. If you are not a Kuan Yin practitioner, though not with the name Loving Hut, as they are managed only by our members. Vegan restaurants are always beneficial to the world, no matter who operates them. Loving Hut is not a so-called franchise chain of vegan restaurants. It's just because the name Loving Hut was designed by Master that the disciples would like to keep it within our association circle. Moreover, there are certain rules to adhere to. For example, the food has to be strictly vegan and as organic as possible. Also, harmful substances such as alcohol are prohibited to serve in Loving Hut. Thank you. Wishing you all the best and may heaven bless Indonesia. Supreme Master TV staff. We welcome your heartlines and stories. Please send them to heartline at suprememastertv.com.
We sure have enjoyed spending time with you on Noteworthy News. May your heart rejoice in the glory of God. Wishing you a grace-filled week. We thank all the reporters, journalists, photographers, camera persons, individuals, groups, companies everywhere in the world for all your contributions of news that bring hope to humans and animals, thus uplifting the atmosphere of our planet. May heaven bless your noble endeavors and protect you always, especially while on duty. For more details, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash NWN.